I just thought I'd do a quick little demonstration video of the weird uh, Vic chip that I have here that's marked incorrectly. And I'll uh, go ahead and test it in this board I have here. Uh, just a second and I'll uh, pop this chip in the board. Alrighty, I have it installed. Machine's fired up. Now as you can see, it's not quite in black and white. There is some color, but it's it's really, really low. So we'll go ahead and start this up here real quick. This has got a really nice image that I use for uh, testing a lot of things. As you can see, there's, there's colors there, but it's really, really faint. It's a really washed out kind of image. Uh, other than that, this chip works just fine. You can leave it on, let it warm up. Uh, you know, it works like it's supposed to. It's just the color output is <laughs> totally wrong. Uh, so anyways, I'll put the other chip back in here and show you what this is actually supposed to look like. Alright, I have the, the original Vic chip installed back into the board again. And this is what that's supposed to look like with the correct colors. As you can see as the image came up too, it didn't have that weird little flickering effect. That's due to these early ceramic revision chips. Uh, see the revision 5, 6A? These early VIC chips actually have slightly different timings than all the rest of the VIC chips. So some cycle accurate code will uh, cause little visual glitches like that. So, technically speaking, the early ceramic VIC chips, the Revision 5, 6 A's, are not quite 100% compatible. And here's the uh, Ghosts and Goblins uh, intro picture here. It's really pretty, I love this piece of art. Yeah, anyways, that's the uh, really strange uh, mismarked chip I have here. The story on it goes, I got a batch of boards, uh, Commodore 64 boards it is, off of eBay. And that chip was installed in the CPU socket on one of the boards. Uh, also, it has a... Uh, broken pin on it which I repaired to test the chip and at first I didn't even notice the markings were incorrect uh, I tested the chip and seen the colors were wrong and threw it in the pile of dead chips that I have going here <laughs> um, it wasn't until later that I realized the markings were incorrect on it and then I thought well maybe this is a Vic chip intended for something else but in all the research I've done, there is no such thing as a 6597. So, uh, anyways, even though it doesn't really work 100%, I keep it around just because it's something kind of weird. Uh, I don't know how many more of these there might be out there. Uh, it's just one of those weird little Commodore oddities. And those sorts of things are uh, what fascinates me about old Commodore computers. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll come back with a new one soon, hopefully. Have a good one.